In mid-November of 2021, both Bitcoin and the Nasdaq put in all-time highs and then proceeded to roll over into 2022, with Bitcoin losing over 70% of its value at its lowest level and the Nasdaq losing 35% at its lowest level, and both bottoming in mid-June 2022. Now, throughout most of the pandemic, Bitcoin traded at a high directional correlation with risk assets like the Nasdaq. The most common theory was that excessive levels of government liquidity injected into the system was pushing money into risk assets and causing the high correlation. Now, it would stand to reason that as the Fed and the federal government began signaling higher rates and less accommodation, risk assets would have to adjust to the downside, and both certainly have. Something interesting has happened over the last several days, though, as Bitcoin has broken out to the upside of a tight consolidation pattern and the Nasdaq has not. Perhaps it's because Bitcoin has weathered the storm of a wave of bankruptcies within the crypto space and now is poised for higher prices, and the Nasdaq still remains under pressure due to higher rates. In the coming days, traders will watch the divergence between the two assets for potential signals of a correlation breakdown. 